an active scientist, but I'm a scientist at heart, and I still feel part of the scientific community. As an editor, I try and champion the areas I handle at Nature Communications by encouraging submissions, facilitating the publication process, and interacting and building relationships with the scientific community. Nature Communications is a fully open access journal which helps disseminate the work that we're publishing. However, I get really excited about the science I'm reading and the papers I'm helping to publish. And so to get the word out about them, I'm on social media. I am tweeting about papers, I'm writing blog posts and research highlights, and if I think a paper has appealed to a general audience, I contact our press office to arrange a press release. I occasionally attend conferences and visit research labs as part of our outreach program. I really enjoy talking about science with active researchers. It makes me feel like I am the forefront of science, even though I'm not actively doing research anymore. I think it's a great opportunity to gain new insights and to uh, help develop the field I handle. Here at Nature Communications, we have about 90 full-time professional editors. Because we're no longer active researchers, we don't have a conflict of interest when assessing manuscripts, and we can provide an unbiased opinion. We are very grateful for the guidance and the advice given by our reviewers. However, sometimes their suggestions can go above and beyond what is required for publication at Nature Communications. So one of the key roles of the editors, I feel, is to help guide the authors through the revision process to ensure that we get the best version of their paper for our journal. As an editor, I'm here as a point of contact for both authors and reviewers. Sometimes the peer review process can be tricky to navigate and there is a need for a third party to mediate. I'm here to help authors and reviewers communicate effectively if disagreements occur. One aspect of my editorial role is to ensure reproducibility. The data in any given paper needs to be solid and repeatable. That's why in Nature Communications we have a number of checklists to account for that during the review process. So part of my role is to make sure that the authors include all the necessary information in the paper and to point reviewers to specific parts that might need double checking. At Nature Communications, we try and improve transparency through many different initiatives and policies, such as transparent peer review and review recognition. I also, as an editor, try and help with transparency and shed light on the publication process to make it seem less like a black box by answering any questions academics have during outreach events.